as much as I never really had a strategy, this game forces you because you have to think about the decisions you make. Why am I saving Terry? How is that going to aid me in the game? What am I seeing? I need to see the bigger picture. Can't be a test to anyone too Can't. much. You know, I'm very competitive. And that's also something that I still want from you. I would like to see more of vinyl. It can't just be vinyl the musician who's with Terry. If there's one thing I really dislike in Big Brother, be it Big Brother Niger or Bibi Nzamzi, it's when housemates nominate their friends or people close to them in the house. And then they now start going about, you know, trying to explain their actions to those same people, trying to create excuses for themselves like, oh, uh, I did not know, I felt like this. Guys, I find that very, very disgusting. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, this is a game. At the end of the day, you have to you have to be selfish about it. Yes, you have to play the game for your own best interest because at the end of the show, there's only going to be one winner. And every single person either wants the money or wants to stay till the finals. So I was watching Sister Mara going around, you know, having conversation with um, Vino and then Tools. I to be very honest, guys, I was really irritated. Yeah, I like Sister Mara, I really do. Yes, he gives me so much vibes. But last night, I was just very irritated. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah. This is Frankly Speaking with Glory. I am the girl with the tea. I don't know if I was the only one, but last night, after the live nomination process, of course, I was seriously looking forward to seeing if there was going to be an attempt at a conversation between Sister Mara and Terry. Because last night, Terry had gone ahead to have a conversation with Vino and kind of like apologized to him for swapping him with tools. Now, to be very honest, I listened to that conversation and I was just very irritated as I said earlier. I felt like Sister Mara had no business going to explain himself. I mean, you did what you did. And this is the second time you're doing it. The first time in the diary room and the second time you clearly did it, giving reasons which I felt like were actually very, very lame and selfish once again. So. What, what's the point? You've put the boy on the chopping block. What's the point? Own it with your chest. You know, wear it as a badge of honor that yes, I did this, I did this, I saved tools and I swapped tools with vinyl and nobody's going to kill you for it. Just move on. You've done what you wanted to do. But then you went ahead to go and talk and then you also went to tools and was trying to explain himself and I'm going to come to that conversation. But as I was saying, I was looking forward to an attempt at a conversation, but it did not happen from Terry's body language, she was over and done. Because it was very clear to everyone. It was clear to all the housemates. It was clear to every single person viewing the show last night that Sister Mara had three chances to save Terry if he wanted to. When he chose Venice as his deputy, I mean, that was a low blow for Terry, first of all, because Terry was hoping that he was going to choose her as per their friendship, their bestie level in the house. He was going to choose her, right? Now, that was one. Then the second chance was not nominating Terry. But he went ahead and nominated Terry, which, as I said, according to the game, it's not a bad thing. If it was in the real world, then I would say, okay, guy, this guy is a betrayal. This guy, blah, blah, blah. You threw your friend under the bus. But hey, it's a game. So he did what he did, and I do not fault that in any way. Now, the third chance he had was the save and replace. If he wanted to play the, you know, the hero friend coming to the rescue, even though he nominated Terry in the diary room, he would have still used the save and replace to save Terry, but he did not. Instead, <laughs> he saved tools and replaced tools with Terry's lover, Vino, who had been up for eviction twice in a row. So, guys, I do not fault Sister Mara's nomination choices at all. I do not fault it. But then, him now going to go and start talking to Vino, talking to Terry, trying to explain himself, guys, I just felt like, dude, you're a chicken. Now, even though I feel like he was a chicken for going ahead to try to explain himself, I still commend him for his bravery because that took a lot of guts. Yes, 
Terry could be very, very intimidating sometimes, unknowingly. Yeah, she has that big, larger than life personality. So when she walks into a room, she's very, very authoritative, domineering, and all of these things she does, they are not kind of intentional. That is just who she is. And sometimes, if people who are not very confident enough, you know, stay around Terry for too long, they might have to shrink their shine for Terry to shine. And that was what was almost gonna happen between Terry and Sister Mara. And so Sister Mara decided to pull away from that friendship. And last week, when Big Brother had assigned the task to the housemates to share cards, um, Sister Mara had not given Terry any card. Yeah, instead he had given tools a card. And he had mentioned that in as much as he's in a relationship or friendship relationship with Terry, the relationship scares him. Yes, because he does not know how to deal with it. He is also the kind of person that loves, enjoys attention. So the fact that they are two friends that have such huge personalities that love attention, then there's always going to be a clash of personalities between them. I do not fault that, guys. I do not. I mean, it's always good to study yourself, to know where you can properly function and be in all of your glory, you know, show your true, authentic self. So it was quite obvious that Sister Mara was definitely going to have some struggles trying to exist on his own if he continued to, you know, be that sort of close knitted friends with Terry in the house without creating that level of competition between both of them. And so from his conversation with Vino, Vino was actually the first person he spoke with. Um, it was very obvious that he did not know what to say. He was trying to once again um, convince Vino that, oh, uh, I just feel like I expect a lot from you, blah, blah, blah. And guys, Vino is so wise. I love the words Vino said to him. I get that. What's going on? Eh? Oh, you know, I'm a big guy. I'm chill. You know, and I believe that I could win this by me being me. Yeah, I'm being chill and being honest 100%. I mean, it's a fact. Vino is a successful musician outside the house. He has a huge following, a huge fan base, and he's very good at what he does. So Vino was 100% right when he said to Sister Marla, listen, I wouldn't be in this house if I wasn't competitive. I wouldn't be where I am today if I wasn't competitive. See Samara talking about, oh, Vino is too calm. Guys, I'm like, dude, the Venus that you chose as your deputy, haven't you noticed that she has been very, very quiet since BU left on Sunday? Haven't you even noticed that Venus has always been extremely calm and quiet? Haven't you noticed that Nale is also very calm? These people, they don't make aggressive physical drama in the house but they have their own silent way of creating drama in the house so who are you to be telling these people or to be saying that you 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 want more from them like guys i'm sorry but <laughs> sister Ryan was just sounding like someone's granddad you know saying i am expecting more from you i want to see more like dude they are playing their game the best way they know how to you play your game and vino was right when he said dude i've been nominated twice have i changed have I changed, but I'm still here. And that's true, guys. I mean, I don't understand Sister Mara's own definition of, I want to see you do more. And I'm thinking, is it because you are very loud and noisy and overly active? I mean, always being all over the place in the house. You want every single housemate to be like you? Then what is the essence of the show being a social experiment? And even when he went to go and have a conversation with Tools, guys, it was very obvious that Tools' mind was not in that conversation. He was trying to make Tools see his own perspective, see his own reason. But it was very obvious that Tools was just overly grateful that he had been saved. But at the same time, Tools was scared because he made a statement that you can never be too close to people. Now. <laughs> that just gave Tools a red flag that, okay, you were extremely close to Terry and you threw her under the bus. Meaning, me and you, we are close now. You saved me now to put someone under the bus. It means next time you're going to do the same thing to me mm -hmm, to throw me under the bus and save someone else. So whilst he was prattling on, prattling on, Tools was lost in deep thoughts, even though Tools was responding, but it was very clear that Tools was thinking about his own safety you know, in the kind of friendship that he has with Sister Mara. And then something else came to my mind. That Could it be that Sister Mara has the tendency to be very, very jealous? Because guys, let's think about it. Let's think about it. When Tamara nominated Nali, 
he had given the same reasons he gave about vinyl. And guys, we knew that at that time, he was interested in tools, but tools did not even notice him at all. Tools was busy chasing after Nale, and Sister Mara was really longing for a friendship or a relationship or whatever with Tools, but Tools was not really giving him that attention as at that time. Then, he put Nale up for nomination. Yeah, Nale was up, and then he started getting close to Tools, blah, 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 and then he started talking more, and then he started coming up with the notion of, oh, Tools is like an older brother to me, the older brother I did not have. Now, coming on to Terry, um, Tamara and Terry's relationship was this close. But then the moment Vino came into the house and in a matter of two days had been on Terry's tail for a relationship and Terry as well had naturally fallen into that space of relationship with Vino, it kind of threw off um, Sister Mara. I feel like at that point Sister Mara had felt betrayed by Terry like he had lost a friend and so he had been drifting in the house for a bit before settling into a cozy relationship or friendship with tools. So when Sister Mara started nominating Vino, guys for real, I just jumped into the conclusion that nah this guy is just retaliating that oh you stole my friend from me I'm gonna put you up. I mean that was the way I saw it but overall aside everything that I have said now with regards to the game, the competition itself, if you ask me my opinion, my thoughts about Sister Mara's nomination choices, I would say he did great. Yes, I would say that he did great. He was very, very strategic about it without, you know, putting sentiment into it. But the stark reality is, if Terry is not evicted this Sunday, if Vino is not evicted this Sunday, trust me, Sister Mara will definitely be up for nomination for possible eviction come next week. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll see you guys on another video soon. Have an amazing day. Bye.